hello and welcome to District Dialogue. My name is Commissioner Henry Mitchell of District 1. And you know, today's District Dialogue is going to be kind of unique. You'll be watching this during the month of uh, December, and that's the Christmas holiday. So I thought I'd do something really different and bring on uh, our law enforcement. I've got the chief here with me, and I've got the sheriff of Douglas County here uh, out of Douglas, uh, Douglasville in Douglas County. And I just thought we'll talk about holiday stuff, holiday tips, you know, about this holiday season, what are the do's and don'ts and all that good stuff. So let me first let you guys introduce yourselves. Welcome to District Dialogue. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. You know, we've been knowing each other a long time. Uh, Very much so. Doing, when you Is that good there. though? I don't know. Oh, no. yeah, that's right. good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Doing your time as city council, you uh -huh. did a good job and then you, you uh, Commission Chairman, but uh, you're not I, trying to work on a gift or something. Yeah, it's, 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 that, it's, okay, it's that holiday see. season. I'm okay, trying to get okay. mine. I see now. Okay, I'm I, trying I, to get I'm mine. I'm like, where he's going with this? <laughs> I'm trying okay. to build you up. <laughs> but uh, my name is Gary Sparks. I'm the Chief of Police of Douglasville, and uh, thank you, thank you for having me. Here. You got it. Okay, now you got it. Sheriff, that was a big... I got my gift. Yeah, yeah, he, he got a big one. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat what the chief said, but Henry, you are done a fabulous job for the county, and I certainly appreciate it. Uh -huh. And my name is Tim Pounds. I'm mm -hmm. the sheriff of Douglas County. And you guys have done a great job, let me say, and, you know, yeah. kudos to all the work you guys have done here uh, for all the many years that you guys have served. Now, I know, you, Chief, you served as uh, just a regular deputy. I mean, you kind of t talk mm -hmm. about how you got into this, and then we'll get into all the tips. But just, just mm. share with the general public about y your story about, you know, kind of from the officer mm -hmm. stage. Matter of fact, you went to mm -hmm. school here. So, I mean, you, you yeah. got a little history here. You yeah, didn't just pop up um, and be the, the chief. I didn't pop up. It's been a long road. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, Sheriff and I, we, you know, we we didn't come here. We from here. That's correct. And born. We were born and raised out in Winston, uh, Georgia, both of us. Uh -huh. And uh, we've been knowing each other all our lives. And, you know, I, uh, you know, went to Fort Valley State University uh -huh. and uh, went to the military and they, you know, we wanted to come back home, and so I got a job here as a police officer and uh -huh, uh -huh, went uh -huh. through the ranks uh -huh. of patrol, detective, working undercover, and doing all kind of things, great things. And, you know, now as, uh, you know, I just stayed uh, consistent and persistent on doing what I was, uh, uh, my calling. Yes. And my calling was one day... Uh, I called up to be the chief. Now, did you guys did you guys plan this to be the chief and, and be the sheriff? I mean, I mean, how, mm -hmm. how far apart are you guys in age? You want to tell your age, but how far apart are you guys? Like right there together, or you guys? Yeah, we right close. Okay, okay. Yeah, for, yeah. You, you know you're older than I am. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. About yourself. <laughs> I mean, I was uh, as the chief said, I was born and raised in Dexter County. Mm -hmm. uh, I started at, as a dipped at a very very young age. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I stayed focused. Right. Because one day I wanted to sit where I'm sitting today. Yes. And I stayed focused. And I worked my way through the ranks from a, I call it a dirt road, deputy all the way up to sergeant, lieutenant, captain. Mm -hmm. And I uh, worked in every division at the sheriff's mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. And uh, learned the whole entire department because it was a great tool to do that. Because mm -hmm. now right. I know things that, that I needed to know. Understood. Understood. Well, but all of the divisions, you know, right, right, right. different divisions there. Right, right, right. And 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 doing, you know, being a, a just a, a, a what you call it, a street cop or what yeah, you call it, just a, a regular a deputy. Deputy that guy that that taught you that side of uh, law enforcement right. versus, mm -hmm. versus versus just out of, versus just with your masters and walk right in and became the sheriff. You right. know, ran for sheriff and you got it. Yeah, forty years before I decided to run for sheriff, I yeah. worked there forty yeah. years. And wow. Doing uh, on forty years, I was coming through the ranks and. Uh, like I said, different division, civil division, warrant division. I worked all of them. Good. Yeah. I worked them out. So now, as the sheriff, it, it, this is kind of easy for you because you kind of know all the departments and you kind of know, you well, know, what to expect. Each one of them does. Yes, and what to expect, and you yes. know, and now you can build from that. Exactly. Well, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And well, enjoying every moment of. Well, I, mm -hmm. I gotta say again, you guys are doing an excellent job. For those that you, mm -hmm. that that I've spoken with, and you guys yeah. have done well with protecting and serving. So. Kudos to you guys, both of you guys. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's let's get into this whole holiday moment now. You know, we you guys are going to get great gifts. We'll, we'll, we'll start there. So just you okay now? But with that, let, let's talk about you know because we want to uh, make sure that those that are at Arbor Place Mall and, and out shopping mm -hmm. in down in downtown Douglasville and you know we want them to be safe. Mm -hmm. So this program today is going to be about 
the safety of our citizens of Douglas County. Let's mm -hmm. talk about a couple of tips. Let's start with just the basics. I mean, what do you advise for those who are out driving, going shopping, parking? I mean, just we call it, to us, it's just simple. I just went and parked and got out of my car and went to the to a, a, a shopping facility, and that's just I mean, what I do. Mm -hmm. But is that good or bad, or what should I look for? What should I do, and how should I kind of yeah. make? What steps should I take in doing just parking? I I think one of the most important thing mm -hmm. is planning. Mm -hmm. Planning your Event. shopping your day. E day, you know, mm -hmm. so I know where I'm going, I know what mall I'm going to, whether it's Arbor Mall or mm -hmm. you're going to Phipps Plaza or whatever mm -hmm. it is, okay. you plan okay. that day and then you, you know, you try to plan and try to park, you know, up under a well-lit light, okay. uh, you know, if you're okay. going to go in there in the daytime and you yeah. stay in there a long time and you come back out now it's night because it get dark at six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. you know, okay. so you want to make sure you, and that you park close to the door if you can and and uh, you know, well lit area. Okay. And and just be have your head on the swivel, always looking around. You okay. know, uh, have your keys in your hand. Be aware of your awareness. And, yeah. and yeah. remember yeah. Okay. where you park. It's, it's a lot of folks forget where they park. You're absolutely right. The mall is so huge. You yeah. know, you, you forget. So always mm -hmm. be aware of your surrounding. Remember where you park. And, and mm -hmm. should you should you be looking at that? car too that you park the side because that um, you know we got traffic that car gonna probably leave before you get back well, what, mm -hmm. I'm, what I was alluding to though you got these trafficking situations that are going on with people parking beside you with a van and they're trying to capture you at these inconvenience yeah. time when you're not thinking that's, being, yeah. that's what we call we said be aware of your surrounding okay. always mm -hmm. be observant look in cars mm -hmm. just sitting if you park look on each side of you okay just see if anyone's sitting in the cars got if it. they are Mm -hmm. You go ahead like, like you're going to the mall, but you just pay attention before you go in the mall and see gotcha. if they actually exit mm -hmm. the vehicle or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you, and, and that's like more or less when you coming out of the mall with all your your goodies. Your goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, yes. so let's talk about that. You know, yes. maybe don't yes. walk directly, uh, you know, to your car. Uh -huh. Stand at the door, stand away, and look and observe the cars around your vehicle before you get there. Got you. You know, and then have your keys Jesus in your hands. hands. You know, mostly, you know, cars. Uh, you have the, like the little beep yeah, beep. Yeah, yep. You gonna uh -huh, uh -huh. you can start it up, and you can uh -huh. uh, make sure it's locked, it's ready to go when when you get there. So just take a minute to uh, observe the surroundings right. and. You know, and observe as you walk into the car, we look back. You know, now, is, it, is it a good idea to ask if there's a mall security or something to say, hey, you know, I'm getting ready to go to my car with all five bags and, me and the good. kids. That's you know, good. So good idea. You know, That's ask good. these guys to yeah. say, hey, can you watch me or can you walk to the car with me? I mean, yeah. I'm assuming that mall security could do that. Yeah, if <laughs> yeah. they, you know. Yeah, if, if, if his timing is right, I mean, I'm not. Well, one uh, thing about our mall here, okay, it's got the most camera than a mall I ever seen in my life. Got you. Mm -hmm. It's got the best camera system there is. Okay. So it's, it's tough out there. They can see any angle in that parking lot. Got you. Mm -hmm. They got you. And, and and also, what about shopping with your friends? Do you should you shop alone? Is does that matter? I mean, is that a, a good tip? Yeah, it, it, you know, to go together. Okay. And that's part of your planning. You sit down, you know, and you plan your day mm -hmm. before you go out. And when you get there, you know, maybe one person go to the car while the other person watch. You know, and okay. uh, you know because a lot of people got their hand. But you know, are we uh, getting to that nowadays? I mean, it, I, I'm 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 glad to be sitting here on District Dialogue, offering tips for those who are shopping in the month of December. Yeah. But has the has we got have we got to this point of we got to be that secure, that aware, that you got it. It's it's here, it's wow. here, and. Uh, the only way we're going to make it work is everybody work hand in hand. Listen okay. to these tips, abide by them, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it'll come out a lot better than it would if you just jump out your car and mm -hmm. run in the mall. Always mm -hmm. be aware of what you're doing. And that's, as the chief said earlier, plan your day. Okay. And you know for yourself, Henry, mm -hmm. women don't shop alone. You're right. You're There's right. going to be more than one. Yeah, there? yeah. That's that's normally yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, going to yeah. be more than one. So so let's also talk about those young ladies since we're speaking of women that that kind of carries their purse, you know, on their arm and just or just lackadaisy. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming they mainly target the older women because ah. they see that older woman that can't fight as long as that young woman can. Because now you know that young woman mm -hmm. going to fight for her purse. Yes, but yes. keep it 
where you can right. hold on to it. Got Don't it. lose your life over that purse, right, but right. the average young woman, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna be able to take that purse. Right. You know, they pray on the elder. Yeah, and then like you were saying at the mall, and then we just not speaking of of a place mall. Right. Everybody. Right. When you ask the question about as it as it come to this That's time right. and it's yeah. like here, right. so everybody listening because this is gonna be probably in Douglasville. Understood. It's, it's all over. It's, it's everywhere. So Got don't it. don't be telling, oh, Lord, we can't go to the mall. We're going to go over to Greenbrier. We're going to go to come. It's Shop everywhere. Shop locally, but yeah, I, you're yeah, right. Right, right. right. So but, don't, but no, you, you know, know, these types of situations. People take that. Yeah. I, but, I only said that to disagree, though, is to, is to understand. I was hoping that that I was wrong in making that statement of saying, is it gotten to this point where we've got to yeah. watch each other you know, hold on to your money tight so nobody yeah. can, you know, snatch it from you. You know, you can't be on your cell phone and trying to shop, you know, because somebody else is watching you to try to get you and catch you off guard. Wow, well, life is every, every time you turn the news on, I they know. answer that question that you yes, just asked. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The yes. time is definitely here. Yes, yes. But, you know, women in the purse, uh, you know, well, one thing is your, mm -hmm. your credit cards and your money, you mm -hmm. may have a smaller uh, a wallet. That mm -hmm. you make a keep in your pocket, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. You, well, then what you're wearing, so you can put that in case somebody do grab your purse and take off running. Hey, they just they got, got a, yeah, right. got a purse. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't if be it's out possible. with your glory. What's that? The Louis Vuitton's oh, yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, kind of right, thing, because. Right. You know, a, a criminal element, you're not thinking about it, but as a person that's lurking, yes. you know, he's looking he's at all that. Yes. You know, so, you know. So, hey. so, so how do you guys, as law enforcement, kind of spot those unique situations where you see that guy who's lurking around or you know we call it the sixth sense okay it's, all right it, that's Give what we that. call it because okay. it's uh you know we always observe we always because that's looking and watching and, and yeah, yeah. like i said the sixth sense give yeah. you that guideline to say something ain't right about that right there now that yeah, guy right, right there right. ain't exactly right. right so you're gonna pay more attention, attention. to him correct mm -hmm. and uh Nine times out of ten, you ain't wrong. That six cents is not Got wrong. It. Got it. So yeah. follow your gut instinct. That's yeah, right. And, and, and do what you what you if you felt funny about that, don't do it or stay away from it or go in a different way. Or, or bring it to somebody's attention. By that yeah. six cents, I just Got it. knew something wasn't right. Understood. Yeah, and then you know if you have that that feeling. Uh, maybe that you're being watched, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just go to the security person, let them know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, dial here, you could dial 911. Because, you know, when, when, when you're not, not for sure, to be on the safe side, mm -hmm. err on the, wrong, the side of cautious, cautious. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, you know, and, and, and then what you're feeling, it may not be anything. But then, then it just may very well be. Yes. So that's why it's always best to just when you error on the side of cautions mm -hmm. and uh this it, don't go out uh mm -hmm. looking like a easy Pray. target mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just like when you go on vacation and right. you go to another country right right you know you don't, you, you don't, don't look like you yeah, that you don't want to yeah, right. you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb yeah, like right, a bam right, right. you know if i i would be looking like i really don't got nothing yeah you know yeah. Yeah. another good idea too okay. if it's possible most places take Credit cards in it. Well, that's what they shop now mm -hmm. with a credit card. Just take your credit card and your ID and put it in your front pocket. Yeah. Yes. I, got you. And uh, do it that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got you. And and, and I, I, I know this from past that you don't take your items and take them to your, your car, put them in the trunk, and then go back and shop some more. That's what mm -hmm. you don't do. I, unless you guys tell me I'm wrong. Because if that guy who's lurking around saying, "Ah, oh, now I know where the items are." Whether it's mm -hmm. in your trunk or in or in your, inside your car, definitely not. You know, yeah. leaving items like that. Try to complete your shopping before you go to your car. Got it. Because once you put them packaged in that car, you really need to leave that particular spot. Mm -hmm. If you ain't finishing, go from that side of the mall to the other side of the mall. Got it. And they don't know if you're going or not. But Understood. Don't and definitely don't leave it inside the car. Well, they can mm -hmm. see it always. See don't it, yeah. never leave nothing mm -hmm. inside in sight. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's Weapons or anything, anything of value. Don't leave them in, in plain sight. Got you. Mm -hmm. Got you. Even though they got, I, I noticed, especially during the holiday seasons for sure, uh, they have a lot more security guys running around, roaming around. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming those that are out to do harm, they watch in that same scenario saying, okay, he goes around the block and he comes back around the mall. It takes him 
five minutes to come back around here, so I only need mm -hmm. two to do what uh, I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just, you know. Mm -hmm. Same thing about our security we got out there? Yeah, yeah we, we, a little bit. Don't, that, that, we, we, well, share with you what we can, because we, we want to make sure yeah, we keep yeah. everybody safe and not know what else is out there, so. Uh, Chief but, and I, you to put a team together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plain clothes guys and plain cars. Got it. To sit in that mall parking lot and just watch and be observant of what goes on there at the mall. And uh, got it. Got mm -hmm. it. he got it in place as we speak. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, that and I got some around Thornton Road in that area down there. Got it, mm -hmm. got it. And that's just kind of just during the month of December, January, February, or just. We you call guys it the holiday kinda, season. Oh, holiday yeah. season, okay. So it's it. covered more than just the. Mm -hmm. uh, December, we got the holidays period. People start shopping, shopping now. So we, you know, we, you know, we trying, we doing what we can, but mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's the, the old cops and robber thing. Mm -hmm. They trying to keep from getting caught. We trying right. to catch them. So I hopefully understand. if everybody, pay you attention. pay attention and I you know. see something, say something and yes. we'll do something. Got it. Call us or let us know and got then it. we'll check it out. Now, should they just call 911 or should they call just the, the sheriff or the police department? Or, I mean, I, I, oh, it's easier to say 911 and you're done. No, nah, that's it. 911 yeah. and yeah. you're done. Yeah, okay. and, that's, and that's it. But that's, that's how we dispatch to 911. Got it. You know, don't worry about if uh, it, it, it wasn't anything because the uh, citizen may not know what we're investigating. It may Understood. be a piece of the yes. puzzle to another element of crime that right. we're investigating. Got so, it. you know, don't ever think that I don't want to bother you about 9-1. Hey, that's how we dispatch. Yeah, it ain't Honestly. nothing too small, yeah. right. nothing too huge. And another thing a lot of county citizens don't know, we have a 911 also built inside our station there, but it's just the number's different. Understood. You mm -hmm. have to dial 949-5656. Got it. Mm -hmm. and because, see, when you dispatch to, to uh, when you call 911, if it's happening in the county, okay. 911 got to dispatch it to us. Okay. So that's a few seconds we could save. They just dial us direct. And that number mm -hmm. again? It's 770 okay. 949 mm -hmm. 5656. That's got our it. emergency line. Got it. Got mm -hmm. it. Interesting. Interesting. Good stuff. Good stuff. So let's, let's kind of shift gears a little and talk about mm -hmm. some positive things. I mean, not that that was just negative, but some positive yeah. things about what are you guys doing for the kids? for the holiday season? Any, you know, toys for tots or, you know, and, and, and that kind of stuff. Cause I know every year you guys are always doing something, whether you're giving away a couple of dollars to help the kids, you know, on whatever street. But. I'm the chairperson okay. with, uh, with Judge McLean mm -hmm. on this, this Christmas. And uh, we were talking yesterday and he had just told me there was about 10,000 children that's already registered for this program that we're doing. Okay. So, um, is this that's, the one where we go into the, the Walmart or whatever it is and shop? No, no, no. Let's no. shop oh. with a cop. Okay. That ain't okay. That ain't it. We oh, actually, okay. several churches is location where they come pick up their toys. Okay. In an event where they can't pick their toys up, you know, some folks just that's may exactly not even right. have a car here. They may yeah. they can't get to the church. That's right. We take them the toys ourselves. The mm -hmm. sheriff's department mm -hmm. deliver the toys if when we uh if that's the last result they have and um that's that's good that's one of my favorites that's i good. love it that's good that's good that's good i just remember that one like i said when we, i just go i don't know what mall what place whatever we that's, did yeah that, that yeah. we do that too that come okay. i think this uh it's in shop a, with a, couple, a couple of weeks uh yeah. but yeah you know that that's part of what we do and we're part of the uh, Operation Sheriff, Christmas. Uh, Operation Christmas, the mm -hmm. Douglasville Police Department is a location to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we just had our fall festival. Okay. So the people that uh, pay to be a vendor for our fall festival, uh -huh. we take those funds and then we go out and buy toys, toys. and yes. uh, things of that nature for p kids. and. Uh, they don't uh, may not have a Christmas right, right, right. because well, less fortunate, it, yeah. they may we and the thing that the judge and the sheriff we're a part of sometimes kids get missed, wow. and we'll be able to pick up and uh, yeah yeah throw some uh, that's good and then we 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 partner with some of the fraternities that mm -hmm. Alpha Phi Alpha and Omega Psi Phi mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, the Kappas uh, so some of the fraternities we. Donate, you know, you know get That's with good. them, and yes. they uh, yes, yes, uh, work out things. So we, we, our goal is to try to make uh, just a joyous uh, season. Yes, and not miss anyone. 
everybody. Yes, yes. And, and, and that's what I want to make sure I, I, I tap in on because most don't realize the things that you guys do. Only thing they know about you guys Putting mainly the is on. The, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> locking them up, you know, and and and, and that's it versus all the other great community stuff that you guys do mm -hmm. like this you know like i know every year we do the uh thanksgiving and christmas where we feed the hungry down at mm -hmm. on fairburn road at the wendy's and all you guys in, in many occasions either donate show up join mm -hmm. in uh to include the fraternities and frats and all those guys i mean so yeah. it's it's always some great things that you guys are doing so yeah. I, I commend you guys on that yeah, Stay we, focused we, we yeah. usually uh, find a few families that, that uh, we adopt. Okay. And we adopt uh, some families and mm -hmm. we take mm -hmm. care of these mm -hmm. kids that's in those families that, that we adopt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, One uh, thing that's good about Douglas County citizens, during this season, they all, they just don't mind giving. You're absolutely they right. They just don't mind. For the kids, they, they, they out there. Got it. Got it. And we just try to make sure every family receive something yes, for Christmas. Yes. Yes. Unfortunate. Uh, yes. You remember when you didn't get nothing for Christmas? I don't think we got Christmas with an app in our own. It was 13. Okay, now y'all going too far back. Now y'all going too far back. That was great, too. Yeah, you know, but, but you still enjoyed Christmas, though. You still enjoyed yeah, the holiday. Yeah, you you were still festive. You always yeah, had exactly. dinner. Yes, yes. yes. So, yes. so that, that, that wasn't a, what I call a bad moment. It was just that that apple and orange or a peppermint it. and what you got was good, and you played with everybody mm -hmm. else's toys yeah. or marbles They just or show you transformation yes. Yes. And, yes. How and how we, far we can we, yes. uh, and we continue to go so yes. we both have a heart of mm -hmm. giving back yes. because we come through yes yes of the storm yes and yes. since we're through the storm we know mm -hmm. how to look back and pull somebody else up That's so it's easy right. for both of us to serve well it, it's great to even know that you guys left your community to to do what you do whether you, the college, however you did that, but you came back because you wanted to be that true servant. Paul, and, and, and a part, yes, and part of where you where you were raised and born and raised. So mm -hmm. probably some of the people that you kind of run into sometimes, you could probably you'll probably say that's Junebug. Boy, yeah. if you don't get yourself together, <laughs> and you know, but but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. I mean, and and you guys got to do your job. But I know mm -hmm. it gets kind of it becomes kind of interesting, especially because you're from here. You was born and raised you know here, and yeah. you know everybody. Yes. So, <coughs> but, but that don't interfere with mm -hmm. that oath you took. That's correct. Yeah. And you got to make sure. You know, I locked up my own brothers. I locked up my wow. brothers. Yeah. You know, I hated to do it. Right. But they committed a crime. Yeah. If I can't lock my brother up, I shouldn't lock your brother up. That's exactly right. Yeah. No double standard. But yeah. the, you know, uh, when we when we started uh, policing, yeah, we we, we knew mm -hmm. somebody. And, and everybody's family, but today it's not like that. Right. There's so many people that this moved kid, in. Yes. Here. That's exactly right. So, my but mess, there's still a lot of of you yeah, guys' still, family and yeah, friends yeah, and we, that you grew yeah, up with. Yeah. But you're right that there's a a large portion of that is outside yeah. transitions yes. that you yeah. know that, that came into the county though. And, and, and the, the city. people that moved in, uh -huh. they don't. Uh, our message to them is that you you know we two servants. Uh huh. You know, and we're going to always do what's right and be transparent mm -hmm. uh, in, in our, what our officers and deputies mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. That we're going to hold them accountable exactly. uh, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. what they do and mm -hmm. how we do now. You know, but uh, just understand that uh, at Sheriff Rudd, we don't mess around with that foolishness. Right, right. <laughs> Well, I, I know that. I, I, I know where you guys were, where you guys are from, and, yeah. and and your upbringing of those that were around you guys that that served before you guys, and it was about you know you, you do what's right. Yes. And, and 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 this county will be definitely protected and served. You know, so yes. you, you you hold your oath and, and do what's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you own it for a minute, and then we'll <laughs> kind of change gears myself. Okay, sure. You yeah. know, um, speaking of that, when you got. Uh, employees as great as we have. I mm -hmm. think I got the best short department in the whole world. Understood. I just believe that. And uh, I'm pretty sure the chief believes he got the best police department in the world. Uh -huh. But your employees, as he said a moment ago, mm -hmm. if you hold them accountable for what they do, mm -hmm. just look what happened in the end of, in the end of things. Mm -hmm. I want the community to believe in us, but if you don't hold their feet to the fire, 
They ain't gonna believe in you. Understood. Mm-hmm. Understood. And that's where it starts. It that's started the start. head. It yes. started the head. Yes. So if you guys are, are slack, then mm-hmm. do understand it will it roll, roll down heel. Yeah. So don't okay. Good enough. Good and, enough. And on that tip, uh-huh. you know, as we are holding ourselves and our departments accountable and we have great people, mm-hmm. the family. You got you. Mm-hmm. You gotta hold your family yes. accountable. Because we are all accountable. Yes, yes. For yes. what we do. Yes, absolutely. To someone. Yes. And you the know, parents and, got and to and stop knowing their kid committed a crime and uphold them. They, know, we got to stop doing that, Henry. Well, if they done it, we got to deal with that. We, understood. We, 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 we got to fix that. I, I see so many parents think their children just don't do no wrong. Mm. And it's a cut and dry case. Mm. Well, I know you guys kind of definitely keep that in check. Yes. <laughs> you guys will keep that in check. Okay, I- I'm going to wrap this all up just because I know we get, we're running out of time. Uh, but if, if there's one thing that you would like to say in, that's surrounding Christmas tips uh, that you would like to say to the, to the District Dialogue uh, viewers, what would that be? The, the one tip that, I mean, there's probably a hundred of the tips that yeah. we could probably tell these guys. But what is that one tip that, that sticks out that you say, hey, just make sure that you do one or two or three. Mine would be awareness, Henry. Because okay. you, that, 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 if you're aware of things, you see stuff quicker. You bring things. So be aware. Be okay. aware. Uh-huh. And uh, practice safety. Okay. You know, a lot of folks got their gun. You see them now walk around with the gun on. Got it. Probably ain't been to a firing range since they <laughs> purchased a weapon. Yeah, probably ain't cleaned it since they Probably ain't cleaned it either, but uh, <laughs> right. yeah. practice safety. Okay. Don't never think it's something too small and too big to call the police department or the sheriff's office because that's why we there. Understood. So call us no matter what. It may not be anything to it. Right. But right. call us anyway. Understood. 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 Yeah. And I would say planning. Okay. You know, I, I mean, that's uh, from uh, planning, uh, like planning your Christmas and your Thanksgiving dinner mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. planning your excursion mm-hmm. out the mm-hmm. shop. Mm-hmm to planning to keep your home safe when you bring your items back home. Understood. Uh, and just just uh, always be in the mindset of planning, not only during this Christmas season. Year round. Oh, year year round. round. Understood. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, got one more. Got one more. What, what are you guys' traditions that you do with your family? Like when my mom was here before she passed, you know, she passed this – Mm. This uh, July, uh, oh, we we yes we uh, we always that Christmas Eve we mm. all came over we ate uh, dinner breakfast and opened up a gift. Mm-hmm. What are your traditions <laughs> that you guys do with your family? You know, well, either that Christmas Eve or that Christmas Day, or if you just go out like now, I'm out. Mm-hmm. I do every Christmas. I'll go out and feed and serve the the needy. Well, and, I got a big family here, and I got a. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I I know that. So, you know, I I like to go see each one of them, and I rotate around. Some years, I actually do the cooking. Okay. But everybody mainly flock at my sister's house because she cooked like my mother. Understood. And uh, we always go there. I'm... Mm. But I always visit the rest of them and see how they're doing. But I'm going but you're to make sure that <laughs> to eat. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one stop you're going to definitely make. I'm going to be eating at Miracle's okay. house. You believe Got that? It. Got it. Okay, we'll get that. And Christmas time, mm-hmm. we always. Uh, all the kids come, my grandkids come, and that's just, that's just one of my okay. favorites because everybody get a little present, they get to open their little present, and okay. talk about it, okay. and uh, it's just something because that's when you got the big families, you enjoy it because there's so many of them. It's about family. Yeah, it's about I mean, it's all it is about family. It's about so, family. So, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, all right. Well, uh, my mom just passed, oh. so you know. Uh, you know, the first holidays without her. Same here. Same yeah. with you. So, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, my daughter already called. Like, hey, what we doing? So. Same know. here. <laughs> so I think I, they're trying to pick us up, though. Yeah, I think yeah, it's like, uh, Daddy, yeah. what? Okay, no, and I'm like, do. Oh, okay, you know, like I, I don't know, you know, and, and I, like I said, that first one, yeah. you know, I, you know. I'm not going to do too much cooking. But <laughs> I love to cook. I love but, uh, to cook. You know, we'll we'll have them over, and I'll. I, uh, you know, we'll sit around and reminisce and Understood. talk. Or just can have you a good cook? Time. Yeah, I can cook. I can cook for me. 
<laughs> he can cook what he want to eat. I, know, I, I, I love would. to cook. I, I love hey, to cook. I, I've been known to cook for, uh, you know, uh, uh, a guest. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. We're going to get into your no right cooking there. challenges. We're going to get into no cooking challenges. Okay, so so with that, okay, so we're going to close. Yeah. And, and I want you guys to, you know, close with whatever remarks you want to close with, whether it's about a Christmas tip or a holiday tip or because uh, this, this particular segment will be running mm. during the December month all of December, and what will be your closing remarks as you want to share with the District Dialogue? Uh, once again, Henry, once again. Okay. Stay focused, mm -hmm. do your planning, stay observant, make sure your surrounding is what it is, and uh, and love on family. Yeah, make sure you take care of the family, that comes <laughs> first. Right, right. But uh, during these holidays, mm -hmm. it's just folks that's out there to get I know. what you get. So just stay observing, yeah. look around, see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And when you go in that mall or wherever you're going, like Sparks here, that ain't just here in Douglas County. Correct. Everywhere you go, mm -hmm. be observed. Yeah. Try, if you can, women are going to be there together anyway. There's normally going to be two or three women together right. shopping anyway. So like the Chief said earlier, if one can sit while the other one go in, right, right. and then she go when they get in, just stay. My number one thing, is focus and as Chief said, is planning. Got it. Well, mm -hmm. here's what I, I'll recommend too, though, and I'll let you get to yours, Chief. Is that don't get so caught up on your phone and you're not focused because you're, you're you're texting and you're selfie and you're doing all these things. That's the worst that, enemy we got now is that cell phone. That's exactly right. Because I I, I I I was in a meeting earlier and mm -hmm. and in the room it was like eight of us, seven of them was on doing this. And I'm saying like, wow. And I was just sitting back just watching. Now, somebody could have come by and thumped them upside the head and never know. <laughs> yeah. So, but again, yeah, I agree. Stay I agree. off that phone during your transition. Yeah, just be careful and be safe, though. But I agree. Okay. Chief, any questions? Uh, just uh, enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas. And if you're able and you've been blessed well enough, reach back and bless somebody else. Oh, yes. Uh, but, you know, the planning, uh, you know, we didn't have uh, several of these uh, active shooter situations. So, mm -hmm. If you hear something and you think it sounds like a uh, gunfire or whatever, that's why it's very important to have a, a plan. Uh -huh. Know the mall before you get there. Right. And so where know the exit points and know, you know kind of. Right. Yeah. Know the okay. exit mm -hmm. points mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. know, know, uh, so uh, it just uh, it's nothing better than knowing. Right. And right. so just be prepared and just have a blessed and safe uh, Holiday. holidays. And oh. God bless each one of you. Well, listen, first of all, thank you guys for at least sharing. I mean. One yeah. last one, though, Henry. Sure, sure. Yeah. Very, very important to me, and I'm sure this mm -hmm. to the chief also. If you're going to drink during the holiday season, please get your designated driver. Yeah, they got Uber and yeah, all they got all yeah. kinds. No, it's no yeah. excuse, excuse to get a DUI yes. today. Oh, yeah. It's exactly got stuff right. out there to prevent all that. So yes. just use what they got out there. Yes. Because, yeah. uh, yes. Totally you may agree. save a life. Yes. Yeah. Maybe mine, maybe yours, but yes. if you're gonna drink, get your designated driver. Totally agree. Yeah. Great closing. That, mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you guys. Again, thank you for being a part of District Dialogue. Uh, you've heard many holiday tips uh, throughout this broadcast. Uh, just be safe, be focused, and do family, and enjoy your holidays. This yes, is sir. Commissioner Mitchell on District Dialogue. Have a great holiday season. Thank you.